Well, hey guys, what is up? My name is, of course, the only one glitcher bringing you Fellow Minds and Crafters and another Survival from Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, guys, I'm going to be on the rarest biome currently in the game until the next update. Uh, and I'm going to be discussing a few fun facts about it in today's Seed Sunday episode. Unfortunately, guys, this isn't a regular Seed Sunday uh, episode where I go over a seed. Uh, um, I may put the seed on the screen, uh, but anyway guys, with that being said, if you do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button, let's try and hit 10 likes on this video, that'd be much appreciated, as I do, so, um, appreciate your support, uh, hugely guys, and it really is valued and appreciated a lot, so thanks so much for that, also, uh, if you subscribe, you'll see the likes daily on your homepage as I make videos, and let's start guys. <laughs> So guys, the main reason in case you didn't know that this seed is actually, uh, well this biome is the rarest biome in any seed for Minecraft is mainly because it's surrounded by the ocean, it is the only biome in the game which is surrounded by the ocean and doesn't have any uh, current like biomes uh, joined up to it or next to it surrounding it. Um, unless it's another mushroom biome. Obviously you can see uh, other biomes from a distance away, but obviously there has to be space in the sea or in the ocean uh, for you to actually uh, have this biome to spawn because otherwise it won't spawn because uh, this is always surrounded by the sea and nothing else other than this uh, slightest or this glitch. Sometimes you will notice that there'll be uh, like a tiny, tiny, tiny sand biome or sometimes a small um, bit of grass added. Um, so yeah, in this biome you can see there's grass uh, over there. Um, but the reason, guys, um, that this biome is so unique is because, for one, it allows you to get uh, mycelium, which is quite a rare block in the game, and uh, you have to have a silk touch shovel to pick it up, I think. Um, and also it allows you to uh, collect mushrooms from the mushroom uh and also you can uh, turn it into a cow afterwards so you can make a cow farm or a mushu farm which is awesome uh, and it's the only biome in the game which doesn't have any mobs spawning no matter where in the caves below or above there will never be any mobs uh, hostile mob that is um, and uh, there will only be one friendly mob which will be the mushroom which is awesome uh, and it's quite a cool fun fact and that's what makes this biome so great um, and in the next update guys I think the ice spikes will be the current uh, rarest biome this biome isn't too rare but uh, it, it does spawn less commonly and often than the other biomes but I do uh, see a lot of these uh, but all the other biomes are really frequently uh, spawned into the world, whereas this one's not as common and uh, you don't see it as much. But it isn't too rare, to be fair. It's a, it's um, I don't think it's rarer than the witch hut either, uh, which is quite cool. As you can see, here's a glitch. Um, you got some grass and a tiny bit of sand over there, and this is just a great um, biome, great for survival island because obviously there's a lot of. Um, like things which you could value from uh, in this you've got the mushrooms or mushrooms um, which could be uh, used to make mushrooms stew uh, also um, you need wood unfortunately to do that uh, so there will be no trees there uh, but also um, you can um, flatten this out and then have a pretty cool world because you wouldn't normally find like and um, a island made out of mycelium uh, which is flat and then you can use all the rest uh, of the mountain that you've broke up to extend it and that'd be a pretty cool uh, feature and thing in my opinion which is worth uh, using um, and taking advantage of also you can uh, make your own mushroom like farm because you can just break um, the actual mushrooms um, and then just make by the mushroom, I mean the thing uh, which is similar to the tree, the actual grown mushroom, not the kind of sapling for the mushroom. Um, and it's a really great thing. Over there you can see there's a massive mushroom biome, and if you destroyed that whole thing, I'm pretty sure you would have quite a massive, super flat uh, mycelium world, which would be awesome. Um, well, not, not obviously not the whole thing, but you know, it'd be really, really far, and I'm pretty sure you could fit a lot of like these things which are um, compulsory in there so you like your house and things like that but obviously you'd have to travel to other islands in order to get the uh, resources such as water cobblestone and things like that unless you go mining but obviously you can't mine wood um, underground uh, so that's a slight problem and um, 
you won't be able to make any chests. Unfortunately, so you'd have to make kind of like a weird storage system. So maybe you could just store it in a dispenser or something. I'm not quite sure, but obviously the items which aren't stackable is quite strange. Um, and then uh, I'm not sure what, what you would do with them um, because it, there would only be a certain amount of space. Obviously, you could store in droppers or maybe a hopper. I don't know. Um, but obviously, there's only a limited amount of storage because of this. But I suppose you could go over to another island. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, unfortunately, uh, unless there isn't uh, a... If there is another island, then that's great. You could uh, definitely use that um, and go over to that and take advantage of it. Uh, but otherwise, um, unfortunately, there isn't any way around it or any way of getting wood for that matter. Uh, but in this sea, there is, um, in fact, no other island, which is quite unfortunate but this is a great seed because if you want to uh, challenge yourself on survival and make your own kind of like uh, maybe hunger games or something or some sort of an adventure map in the mushroom band that's great uh, but if you want to challenge yourself in survival and you want to try and survive on the uh, mushroom island that's great or mushroom however you prefer to say it um yeah, it's just really great for that. But anyway, guys, that about wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoy. If you did, be sure to drop a like. That's much appreciated. And also subscribe if you want to see Relax Daily as I make videos like this daily. And you'll see them on your homepage if you subscribe. I've been the only one glitcher. And I'll catch you next time. Have a lovely day. And bye.